I hope everybody's having a great day today. Today we're going to talk about laughter and humor and healthy aging. How about that? It's a lot of stuff to talk about, but we're not going to talk about all the things that go along with it, just the major points to get a little more humor into our lives. You know, with the economy, with the seriousness of the things going on in the world, I think we could find that maybe there's not a lot of stuff during our day that we find all that funny. But the reality is, if we don't find humor in things, if we don't really laugh and have some fun and enjoy our life, well, first off, that's a pretty boring life. Secondly, it really is bad for our health because that means we're keeping everything inside. There's a lot of stress. It shows everywhere on our face and our person. I found that when I was caring for my grandpa, it was so stressful and I was so serious and I got very serious about myself, which I'm not usually all that serious about myself. But what I realized is that I was so tense that my face and my neck were so tight that I actually was getting jaw issues because everything was just too stressful, too much. And I wasn't finding a lot of enjoyment in life. But I also wasn't seeking it out. Because even if things aren't all that funny around you, if they're really stressful, you need to find ways to find fun and laughter and humor in your life because it's actually pretty good for your health. Laughter is contagious. In the 1950s, they realized that on sitcoms, if they added laugh tracks, other people would laugh along because they would hear people laughing, which then connected people to the sitcom and made it a little bit more successful. So there's a lot of things that laughter and humor can do for our lives that are really beneficial. First off, it reduces stress. It can lower your blood pressure. Yes, it can. It can always elevate your mood, but it also can boost your immune system. Laughter, a good hearty laugh, can improve brain functioning. It can protect your heart. It also connects you to others. When you're in a situation and you're laughing with other people, you're a little bit more connected. You know, having worked in my career in hospice care, which is end of life care, it's really difficult at the end of life when people are really stressed out, they're really sad, there's a lot of overwhelming sadness and and pain that goes along with that on, on all different levels. But what I noticed is that when I saw families that would be sharing funny stories about the person that they loved and just laughing together, there was just such a difference in the atmosphere and in the mood and even in the hospital room as they were with that person to share fun times together. Even having a daughter bring in funny movies to sit and share with her parents as they were at the end of life. You saw the way it connected and you just see how it changes everybody's mood, but again, helps us internally. It's like an internal workout when we're laughing. We need to have that in our life. Laughter decreases our stress hormones. It also increases our attentiveness because as you're laughing, more oxygen is coming through your system, getting to your brain. It can dissolve anger pretty quickly. You know, we get in such stressful times and we get angry with each other over maybe pretty minor things. And getting together and just sharing some fun and some laughter together can really dissolve that bitterness and anger that people have towards each other. It is the shortest distance between two people. So, I'm going to give you some tips today on how to expand your humor. Look for humor in every day. Just try to enjoy the things that are around you. Watch little kids. Oh my gosh. My, uh, my goddaughter, Miley, is a riot. Just watching her little brain work and she just turned three and just her little imaginary world and the stuff that she says, it just is a joy to watch. And my girlfriend and I just sit and laugh all the time because she's just so entertaining. So. If you don't have kids in your life, find people with kids in their life and just spend some time watching them and how much fun they have all by themselves for no apparent reason. Hang around people who bring that joy. You know, we have many different friends in our life if we're lucky. Some of them are for when we're having more serious moments and others are friends to just go and have fun with. So 
reach out to those friends. It's like that, that fun friend on call to say, I just need to go and just have some brainless time and make time for yourself. It's very healthy for us to make time to have fun. Again, we talked before about letting go of guilt. There's nothing wrong with going out and enjoying yourself. There's nothing wrong with taking some time and having some fun, even during really stressful and serious times in our lives. Go out, have fun, watch funny movies. My favorite is Young Frankenstein. That movie cracks me up every single time. Rent some funny movies and just sit and watch comedies and, again, really just enjoy yourself. And remind yourself to have fun. I know, it seems like it would be, you know, a no-brainer that we would be able to have fun in our lives. But we can tend to really get caught up in the seriousness of issues in our life, of finances, work, relationships, health issues. Sometimes we need a reminder to have fun. If you need to, put sticky notes around your house. Don't forget to have fun. Have a, a book of jokes. You know, I do have to warn you though, some people are really good joke tellers. Some others, not so much. So if you do hear a joke and you want to repeat it, you probably want to write it down and practice it a couple times before you're actually sharing jokes. Unless you are a comedian, then have at it. Because there are some comedians that make me laugh so hard, I can just about cry. Avoid really serious things on TV, news, things that can get you more depressed. I actually stopped watching the news. To be, I'm sorry to any newscasters who are out there, but I found that whenever I watched the news, within the first five minutes, there was so much death, destruction, and sorrow that I just was beside myself. So I do not watch the news. I get my news in little clips from the internet, but try to avoid things that are going to add more stress to you. And don't take yourself so seriously. Life is really short. We don't know the days that we have left. But I'll tell you, whatever my last day is on earth, I want to spend it having a lot of fun and laughing as hard as I can with people who I love. So stop taking yourself so seriously and have a fantastic day and go have fun.